Hi Stampers, welcome back. This week we are creating cards and projects with the Night Divine dies. So that's them right there. It also has the big stable um, die. But let me talk a little bit about these dies and the stamp set that comes with it. So these dies are in the mini catalog and here's the mini catalog, page 16. And it also comes with this beautiful stamp set that has beautiful scriptures and religious sentiments, very pretty. And if you've been following along, you'll know that I didn't get the stamp set only because I have about four other stamp sets that I absolutely love the sentiments on. Um, in fact, today, we're going to use the stamp set that's in the brightest glow. This has beautiful Christmas and um, seasonal sentiments, and this is in the annual catalog. So we're going to use one of the sentiments from this set on our card today. Also want to talk a little bit about the designer series paper. The coordinating designer series paper is called Oh Holy Night. And this is the piece that I used yesterday. And I'm, I used the bottom piece yesterday. And I'll show you that card in a second. And today I'm going to use the top part of it, just a little bit of it. But I just wanted to show you how useful this paper is, how beautiful the paper is, and how you can use it in so many ways. We're also going to use this um, either tomorrow or Friday. I'm not sure which. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Okay, we got all that out of the way. So let me talk a little bit about today's card. So I used a little bit of that designer series paper like I just talked about. I also used this pretty six by six paper, and this is called Be Dazzling. And I just love this paper so much, especially for holiday cards, because it adds all that shimmer that we all like in our cards. Um, so this is today's card. And then on the inside of this one, I stamped, Oh, come let us adore him. That's a sentiment from a, a discontinued die set. Um, but again, like I said, the uh, Night Divine stamp set coordinates beautifully with these dies. So I have a little twist on today's card. I'm not going to make it exactly like this. It's going to be very close, but we're going to do a little twist. Um, just want to remind you that the project sheet for today's card is on my blog, stampandshout.blogspot.com. But if you look in the description of this video, scroll down to where it says project sheets, and there's a link there. It'll take you right to my site where I'll have all the sizes, measurements, supplies I used, and shopping links. So you don't have to worry about that as you're watching my video. Also remember, my videos are very, very short. So stay tuned to the end. My videos are maybe 12 minutes long. I fast forward through all the boring stuff that you don't really want to see, and I show you all the highlights. So let's continue with today's card. So I'm using Very Vanilla as my card base. I have Knight of Navy as my mat for the front and for the inside. And then I have some very vanilla pieces, one for inside for stamping and a couple on the outside for layering. So I have, again, on the front, I have my mat piece of Knight of Navy. I have a piece of very vanilla, and this was embossed with the time-worn embossing folder. Then I have a piece of the bedazzling uh, designer series paper. I have a small piece of very vanilla and this one was run through the uh, distressed embossing folder to give it that pretty swirly distressed texture. Then I have a piece of the designer series paper that we talked about and I have another piece of the designer series paper and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the two of these together and I'm going to run them through the cutting machine with a circle die. This is about a three inch circle. So let me run that through the machine and I will be right back. Okay, so I ran those squares and uh, rectangle pieces through my cutting machine with the circle die. And here's a little tip. What I'm gonna do now is glue these together. The tip is don't glue your little strip to your square before you cut it out. Because if you then run it through your cutting machine, that glue will not have had time to dry and it'll squish out all over your um, all over your cutting machine. So it makes a little bit of a mess. So I like to cut it first and then go ahead and attach it with the glue afterwards. And I learned that the hard way. <laughs> I've made quite a bit of gluey messes doing it the other way. So now I remember. OK, so let's go ahead and put these pieces together. 
and then we'll put the front of the card together. So I'm going to go ahead and I am going to glue my matte pieces. All these pieces I'm going to glue together to the front of the card, just like that. Um, I want to mention one thing. Today we're going to pop up our circle, but if you make this version of the card, I popped up this whole navy square. So I put all this piece together and then I popped it up with dimensionals. Again, I'm going to have the information for both cards on my blog so you don't have to worry about it. We're just changing it up a little bit. All the sizes are the same and I just popped up the circle on this one. So let me glue all this together. Okay, I'm going to finish the inside with a little bit of stamping before we uh, do the front of the card. So I'm bringing in Knight of Navy and the stamp set I'm going to the stamp sentiment I'm going to use on the inside again is from the brightest glow and it says may the peace of the season light your world and may your new year be the brightest. So it's covering both a little bit of Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. So I'm just going to glue all of this to the inside of my card. Okay, so now what I did earlier was I went ahead and I used this pretty die right there and I cut out that scene um, in foil. So with this paper, with this layout, you could use champagne foil, you could use silver foil, you could use gold foil. You could even use, um, let me see if I have it here, if you wanted to, you could even use the Knight of Navy. But with all this shimmer, I really wanted to, it to keep shining. So I am using a foil paper. So there is my circle that we cut out. So I'm going to pop that up on dimensionals. So I have that part on the bottom to imitate sand. And then I am going to glue the figures on. Finally, I'm going to bring in a little bit of dazzle more dazzle because we have that dazzling paper and these are the adhesive back star trinkets and i'm going to use the big star right there there's a big star and a little star and i'm going to put that star right in the center of joseph and mary and that is today's card so it has a lot of shine it's very very pretty and then it's beautiful sentiment on the inside and this is the other version. So I'm not sure which one. You, this one has all the animals in it. And this one just, I kept it simple just because I like all that shine. And I think it looks really, really pretty. So let me know which one you like the best. Again, I will have all of that information on my blog. So you don't have to worry about that. Stay tuned for tomorrow's card. Um, I'm going to share another pretty card with you. Hopefully you're enjoying the religious theme cards. Let me know that also. Um, I have a lot of other cards coming up. I think I'm going to list some of my stamp sets that are coming up because in case you're interested, you can go ahead and get those stamp sets ahead of time because they really go fast in the holiday season. But so thanks so much for crafting with me and I will be back tomorrow at noon. Don't be shy. Stamp and shout.